Hey everyone, in today's episode, I will be attaching 1x3 strapping to the ceiling. This process is very time consuming because we have to level every single strap with each other. And it is definitely neck bending and back breaking. But if I spend all my time leaning over at a desk, maybe looking up might help counteract that. I am not a doctor, so don't quote me on that. So besides the wonderful health benefits that we're getting, we are strapping the ceiling because we want an even surface for the drywall to attach onto. And it prevents the drywall from cracking between the seams. Because if the drywall is not directly attached onto the floor joist, it will not flex when the floor joists start to flex and sag. It also makes any future electrical or plumbing work easier because now we have a one inch gap to run wiring and pipes. Here I am cutting the shims and measuring and marking where the strappings will go. The crosses that I'm attaching to the ceiling hold the strapping into place while I screw them in. Very helpful if you don't have eight hands. So at first I was attaching the strapping to every single floor joist and making sure that they were level. This was extremely time consuming and took an hour plus per strap. Later, I realized that I could just attach it to the two lowest joists, one on the stair side and one on the outer wall side, which is good enough for now because it allows me to start working on the electricity and running the wires through the strapping. So I was able to finish the rest of the strapping in a couple of hours and now I've created more space to work with on the floor. So it's a win-win everywhere without wasting too much time. All right, so with my back fixed and the strapping finished, that's it for this video. And a special thank you to my 14 subscribers for following me on this journey. In my next video, I will be soundproofing the wall between my unit and the unit next door. So please stay tuned. Thank you for watching and see you guys next time.